Hello, everyone, and welcome uh, to episode two of week five of the 2024 Dragon Ball Z League main season. I am your host, Bad to the Bow, here with my co host, Malachi. And we had some very interesting matches in the last episode, so do make sure you go and check those out before continuing this one. Um, and we have plenty more, uh, hopefully interesting matches, uh, to come. Uh, to start, we have our third match of the week, Earth Defenders versus Namek. Yeah, I mean, Earth, Earth Defenders, they're, they're three and one, Namek's two, two. So both of these teams have been having a good time so far. Um... And, and it's good to see, like, Namek is always a solid team, and I, I, Nova always, Nova and, like, Piccolo, I'm always terrified to go against them. Um, Earth Defenders, you know, as former coach of the Androids, I just have PTSD from facing them every, just, I just see their name in the lineup, and I have, and I just have flashbacks to every time I'm like, my team's gonna do great. We're gonna win. Why? Why am I losing? Why? Why did Cell? Did you do nothing? And so, Every, you know, everywhere you go, you see their faces. Yep. And, and I will say, they got a they got a really scary lineup uh, this year. Obviously, having they Hercule. Really do. And I would say, I would. Uh, granted, I've only been with the league for a couple years now, but I feel like this is the scariest mid Goku I've seen. Yeah, he. He has definitely gotten been very scary on a melee build after a very long time really been pigeonholed into B2s, and it it has really made a night and day difference for this team. Um, they are 3-1 and one for a very good reason. Absolutely. And we shall see if they are going up to 4-1, and one, or if it shall be Namek who goes up to 3-2. and two. Let's get, yeah, let's get into it. right into it. Oh, and Lloyd just chimed in that he fixed the uh, the match table. Oh, awesome! All right, so that's that's uh, one less thing you got to you got to deal with. Yeah. But yeah, so we've got for Earth Defenders, Tien coming in with defense plus three, attack minus one, fighting spirit, latent energy, indignation, Dende is Yajur, Robi AI, and on Namek Earth we have. Uh, King Piccolo running attack plus one, Dende's healing, serious latent energy, power of rage, Goku AI. Um, attack and defense, the... well, we'll have to see which wins out here. Yeah, uh, so we have a TN start, which I feel like is, is something that they've been trying out this year. They haven't really tried before. I think he usually ends up being like a closer for them. Um, yeah. So I am, I am curious to see how it works out here. I think this is, just kind of talking about characters who have had surprisingly good uh, seasons, I think this is one of, hasn't King Piccolo been having a pretty good season so far? He's he's at least had good matches. I, I'm not sure off the top of my head about a good season. Sure, so maybe um, not consistent, but he's had good performances. Yeah, so while, while we're thinking about it, let me just pull it up and take a look. Get right on ahead. Uh, King Piccolo, yes, he is ranked number eight. He has been having a fantastic season. Oh, with yeah. an average damage of sixty-one thousand. Yeah, uh, that is a really good. Yeah, he's he's doing great. Um, and so far, uh, both combatants are keeping it pretty even. Uh, King Piccolo has a bit of a lead, but uh, we are seeing Tn start to build that back. Um, yeah, he, he's able to just tank through it, and and during those down times, like you know. Just he, he's able to just tank it and dish it right back. Um, oh, Dien Tax. In comes mid Vegeta. Uh, mid Vegeta running his usual build of attack plus one, launches support, eternal life, and a limiter on Trunks AI. Yeah, so mid Vegeta, uh, being the scary, scary man that he is, uh, immediately starting to put in the damage on King Piccolo, um, but he retaliates with a pretty good uh, B2 there to prevent the rush. Um, and yeah, uh, also a pretty early tag, I gotta say, from Tien. He was at most of his second bar when he tagged. 
Yeah, and I will say I think that that's still good for, for Earth defenders, um, especially with uh, mid Vegeta starting to get on this roll. Um, that being said, uh, King Piccolo is not going down without a fight. Having brought mid Vegeta down halfway, um, but yeah, it was also really weird. To, I will say it was really weird to see that that B two hit at that angle. Yeah, um, yeah, very, very janky looking. Um, but mid Vegeta takes out King Piccolo. He's now seeing Nuova hitting the field, immediately throwing out one of his burst attacks. Yeah, uh, Nuova running T plus two, Super minus one, Dende's healing, key control, Ultra Ego, quick fast attack, light body. Um, a very powerful build. Uh, for those who don't know, uh, Ultra Ego is a new boost that we have. Um, it combines all the Pataras like uh, Latent Energy, Sirius, uh, Indignation, and Fighting Spirit together. So as you see, uh, all of that latent potential uh, is coming out. Uh, wrong, wrong, bad choice. Bad, yeah. Honestly, not well, not better, not better than you would expect. Yeah, that was that's like 4,000 more damage than I would expect that ult to get. Um, yeah. And the max power mode runs out for mid Vegeta. Uh, I didn't really use it uh, for anything, but does land He's an amazing scary. impact. Yeah, he does land the amazing impact. Um, Nova kind of struggling here. Um, in comes mid Goku. Uh, mid Goku running attack plus two, defense minus one, serious latent energy, quick fast attack, light body, savior, dragon spirit, trunks AI. Um, yeah, uh, Nova, he's really struggling, but it kind of makes sense. He, he's been up against two melee characters. He's more of a B2 character, and he hasn't really been given that space to charge. So no. He just needs to tag. Uh, nope. It's unfortunately, he dies to a Super Kamehameha. Uh, we do have the poll in for this match. We have Earth Defenders at 73%, Namek at 26%. So people are really expecting ED to pull out the win here. Yeah, and understandably so. Um... Uh, let's see, Nail coming in, running T plus one, Indignation, Key Control, Fighting Spirit, Light Body, Savior, TNAI. Um, yeah, th this is probably not who Nail wants to be fighting. Like, he, he wants to be fighting Hercule, who is another B2 build. But, I mean, he, he's giving it to Mid Goku the best he can. Yeah, he is not doing too bad. He is throwing out those Namekian Spears, one after the other. Um, and... I mean, Mid Goku's already put the damage on him, but I, it looks like Nail very well could uh, take uh, take him out. Maybe if he gets the time to charge up another uh, B2 and throws one out, it's, prob it's probably enough to take out Mid Goku at this health range. Oh, absolutely. Like, as I was going to say, especially if he, he lets it hit him in the back like that, but um, yeah, I mean, Nail, Nail is someone who I can always see making a fantastic last stand and just turning around the match. Um, but man, uh, just kind of a struggle match right now against Earth Defenders. Ho hopefully, uh, we, we might be having to hope for Tambourine to, to do this, uh, pullback. And it does look like Mid Goku might tag, yep. Oh back, man. Back to Mid Vegeta. Tag. I don't think anyone has gone down on Earth Defenders yet. Tien mm -hmm. tag, Mid Goku tag, and, and although... Vegeta might die in a minute when Tambourine comes in. We'll find out. Uh, Tambourine running defense plus two attack minus one eternal life. Serious quick fast attack. I on this build, I will say like if someone's gonna bring it back, a tank, you know, defense plus two EL build is the, the, the build you would expect to do it. Yeah, it's got the longevity to be able to uh, heal up from any damage it sustains, um, which is. Definitely what you need for a comeback. Um, but even with that, I mean, mid Vegeta uh, on his last bar is not going down the Tambourine. Tambourine's just not seeming to be able to get those hits in. Yeah, I mean, Tambourine's been trying. It's just, you know, that attack minus one is slowing him down. Although he has a Sirius to, to start negating that and the quick fast attack. Um, so, I mean, he just needs to be a little more aggressive to take. Uh, Vegeta down, although it looks like he's going to do it. The first member of ED has fallen as Mid Goku comes back in with that savior. Uh, Tambourine needs to do everything in his power to avoid getting hit by uh, an ult or a B2. Yeah. Oh, 
Uh, or I was gonna say, <laughs> lose a clash. Mid Goku, mid -mid -Goku uh, if you you just keep flying a straight line, that will hit. But he he eventually turned turned out of the, the path of that B two. Um, tambourine. I mean, he's getting in that melee game, and, and he he's starting to get the better of mid Goku, but he's still just taking way too much damage. Yeah, he is taking more damage than he can afford uh, to take, and he needs to not get hit by that. Uh, tambourine, why? And it looks like Mid Goku is probably gonna take him out right there. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Congratulations, Earth Defenders. Um. I mean, I don't, I don't know. There's much to say. I think the biggest thing is just some of those matchups were at the worst timing for Namek. Like, I can't blame. Like, if, if you have to blame somebody on Namek, it's Noova. Just because he, he did not do what you expect of Noova. Um, and it's just because he was up against melee characters, and he's really built as a B2 character. Yeah, he did not uh, get out the spam that he needed to um, against E.D. And E.D. was also just really killing it on the tag game. I mean, like, it wasn't oh, until the very end that someone finally went down on their team that that was like they didn't i don't think they even really needed to tag that much but they did it and that was really good on their part oh absolutely um even without the tag game uh earth defenders would have won it but i mean just constantly tagging just solidified that that lead yeah uh but um, a good effort from, from Namek, uh, a very strong performance from ED, and now it's time to move on to match number four. RW versus GT. Yeah, uh, both two, both of these teams, they're very solid. I, I, I love seeing them fight. Um, you know, you, you, you get a little bit of the randomness of the, the vast number of characters on our Resurrected Warriors that, that have been brought back from the dead in some in some way shape or form and then you've got gt who just had so many fun ideas even if the implementation was not great i mean you've still got super saiyan 4 and super saiyan 4 is awesome yeah there's no denying whatever your feelings on gt might be that super saiyan 4 as like a character design is like one of the coolest transformations they've ever done um, oh, absolutely. Hands down. Like, like get get, get out of here, red hair Super Saiyan and blue hair Super Saiyan, all right? I'm here for Monkey Man Super Saiyan, all right? That's all, I, that's all I'm going to say. Uh, but yeah, these are two um, uh, pretty, uh, you know, pretty good teams. Um, you know, uh, RW uh, consisting of a... Uh, trifecta of really strong characters in 18 and Vegeta and Majub with some pretty potent and interesting builds that they're running on uh, Yajirobe and Roshi. Uh, and GT uh, having a bit of a mix up this year, picking up Super 17 and dropping GT Goku um, in, a, in a trade and having Imperfect Cell as an FA um, should hopefully lead to a pretty interesting mashup between these two, especially with the choice yeah. of starters. Yeah, but let's get into it. Absolutely. Uh -huh. But yeah, no, you're talking about uh, RW's trifecta. Um, Majub is actually benched this week. And so they're starting 18 with running uh, Super 2, Key Minus 1, Light Body, Indignation, Tension Up, Key Control, Power of Rage as a boost on Frieza AI. Uh, GT is running uh, Super Baby 1. Uh, running Super Plus One, Indignation, Dragon Spirit, Launcher Support, Dende's Goku AI. Two Super, two B2 starters. We, we don't usually see this. No, usually you see like a melee build starting or like a, maybe a defense build starting, sometimes key, but two super users are not usually what you would expect to see, uh, especially yeah. from RW, 18 tends to be used later um, with uh, Savior. Um, so it's very interesting to see her as a starter. Yeah, but I will say that, that she is running Tension Up, so and between Tension Up and Key Control, she's pretty much always going to have Key, especially when you consider her, she has the fastest passive charge rate in the league. So, you know, baby, 
and, and she, she's proving that she does not, she, she's making full use of that passive CR to just take it to Baby in the melee game. Yeah, Baby has not really done too uh, too much. He has not made use of his uh, super uh, uh, boosts really at all. He threw it like one finger blitz barrage so far, and he's trying to go for high tensions. I mean, he, he hasn't had a chance. Like, 18, he hasn't, because he hasn't been able to charge. Every time he tries to charge, 18 goes after him in the melee game. Yeah, he, this is perhaps maybe not uh, the strongest matchup, but he is starting to bring it back a little bit there, getting some good damage in on uh, 18. Uh, gets another high tension off. Yeah, what, what he, really, he really shouldn't have used that high tension. He should have just gone ahead, transformed up to Super Baby 2, and uh, used some of those better B2s in his next transfer, in, in his next form. Um, and now, you know, oh, Android Barrier from 18. Um, there you go. Yeah, a good... Maybe, maybe transform and tag. Yeah, a tag would be really good. A final flash there, really good as well. Getting a nice, almost 12k damage with those indignation stacks. Yeah, and I mean that that evened it up. That that turned a struggle, struggling performance, into a even performance, and that's kind of what you want to see against Android 18. Yeah, these are two heavy hitters on the respective teams going at it. So an even performance from either is so good for both team, both teams, absolutely. Yeah. And now the Roche and Master has hit the field. Roshi coming in, running T plus one, launcher support, power of rage, key control, TNI. Um, yeah, uh, Roshi just needs to get a very quick kill before baby transforms. Which it looks like he probably can get here. Roshi, if, if I were you, I would have, oh, oh, it Ooh. died to the rush blast. <sighs> in comes Sen Shenron. Uh, running Super Plus 2, Q Minus 1, Kibito Secret Art, Fighting Spirit, Dende is Savior, Yajirobe AI. Honestly, I, I like this matchup for Roshi more than I thought I would. Yeah, but Sin saying, oh, I'm on a Super Field, let me just do melee <laughs> instead. Um, that's oh, not a Blazing man. Storm. Yeah, that was still a 12k uh, B2 combo. Um, he. I, I said I like this matchup for Roshi, but Sin is doing everything he can to make it a bad matchup. Yeah, uh, Sin uh, it really putting out the aggression right at the start, getting really good damage on Roshi, and Roshi transforms. I don't know if this is what RW quite wants to see from him. I think they might prefer him in, prefer him in his base form, but we'll have to see what he can do with it. Maybe. Um, I mean, if I'm RW, I just want... Given who my other characters are, I'm just happy if Roshi does his 40k. Um, and if he does that in base form, uh, that's great. If he has to transform to do it, awesome. Um, I mean, and, and I will say, sometimes muscle form Roshi is slept on a bit. Like, Sin, don't, don't get me wrong, Sin is handing Roshi's ass to him. And, and that trap shooter is probably going to do it. Roshi. Bye, Roshi. Rest yep. in peace. As the old saying goes, it's over. It's over. We do have the poll in. Uh, we have 77% for RW, 22% for GT. So people are really favoring RW, but Sin Shinron has been building a pretty good lead for GT thus far. He, he has. Like, uh, Roshi completely bombed in, in that matchup against Sin. Um, but Yajirobe running T plus 2, Super minus 1, quick, fast attack, serious, fighting spirit savior power of rage on broly ai um if someone's gonna bring it back i could definitely like against sin most weeks you know that's probably not gonna be yajirobe but we have seen yajirobe pull out a few good matches um when, when he gets the right especially when he gets the right matchup Ooh. yeah a really good blazing storm boosted by the max power mode and unfortunately that rush oh, no, is no, going to miss cool. from yajirobe yeah, not I mean, great here, for here's him. The scary, oh, here, one of the scary things about uh, this build on Sen Shenron is when you get the, the, those Blazing Storms with Super Plus 2, those are basically ults. Yeah, they do a lot of damage, and if he transforms in tags, that could be really bad for RW later. Yeah, Yajirobe needs to get the kill on him now. He, he cannot let up on him. 
Which oh, looks like he's gonna get right there. The kill. Yep, and in comes, looks like Super 17. Uh, Super 17 is running Attack Plus One, Dragon Beat, Combo Master, Light Body, Serious Master Throw, Trunks AI. Um, yeah, this is, and the down goes Yaja Robi. And then Vegeta with a, a fight on his hands to, to try and hold on to this, to try and, and get a win. Uh, is running Super Plus One, Indignation, Fighting Spirit, Light Body, Savior, Launch of Support, Broly's Ring, as a limiter on Frieza AI. Um, we have seen N Vegeta do amazing things. I, with how Super 17 has been performing, I don't know if he can do it this week. Yeah, we, we've seen uh, N Vegeta obviously being a really strong character, uh, especially on this build. He can pull out pump out some really heavy damage with those B2s. Unfortunately, he lets the Savior run out, um, which is going to make it a bit harder to get the damage he needs in on Super 17, who's running a pretty aggressive uh, melee build. Yeah, he. The, the problem when you're facing an Android is they don't need to charge. They can just be in your face. And without any healing, any anything Super 17 does is going to stick. And then, of course, Imperfect Cell is there in, in the, the wings, just waiting for to, to attack. Right where credits do, uh, in Vegeta, I mean, has almost taken down Super 17. Um, he has not done all too much, but it looks like Super 17's finally getting in um, some really heavy hitting damage on in Vegeta. And I mean, looks like he's at least gonna take yeah. down Super 17, but he's got to take down all of Imperfect Cell. Which he can, like we, we have seen him, we, we have seen N Vegeta do absolutely terrifying things. The problem is Cell has healing because he is running defense plus two. Oh no, Cell does not have healing, excuse me. But he's running defense plus two, exquisite skill, light body, quick charge, dragon sphere, savior, with, with the required role he's ring. And down goes N Vegeta after a, a valiant last stand. Yeah, a really good final fight there from N Vegeta. I mean, he took down um he took down uh super 17 and he was doing his best there against imperfect cell but it was an uphill battle for him um yeah that was yeah. a match that had a really pretty like a really close opening bit between 18 and baby and then slowly began to build in GT's favor with Sin's surprisingly really strong performance against Roshi and Yajirobe. Yeah, I mean, I was expecting Sin to do better against Roshi, um, just because I, I, it never, once I saw that, how strong those Blazing Storms could be, I, I expected him to get a, a little bit of an upper hand. I did not expect Sin to almost do 60 or 70K against Yajir, both Yajirobe and Roshi. Um, and hey, that that works. Um, you know, and I don't even know how much I can blame Roshi and Yajirobe for that. Like, it just seemed like Sen had their number, and they just couldn't get anything to to land. And I don't know if that's just they maybe they need an AI change or if it's just luck of the draw for the week. Yeah, it is hard to say. But with that, we do need to close out. Uh, episode two of week five um, make sure to please like and subscribe uh, for more uh, cool sick CPU versus CPU fights um, make sure to check out the links below where we have our discord where you can come and join uh, the community and maybe even join up with a team as a supporter um, as well check out our uh, Twitter our TikTok, and any other socials we have down below and with that i've been bad to the bow and i've been malachi and i will we will catch y'all later later